know, every time we've seen a COVID spike, PPE sales from China have spiked as well. But a new company locating at Sparrows Point may help change that in the future. WMR2 News' Jeff Hager has what they're offering in addition to the promise of new jobs here. The United States uses 110 billion medical exam gloves each year, yet only produces about 1% of them. When United Safety Technology looked for a site where it could mass produce them, it needed space and a lot of it, which it found in what was once Bethlehem Steel's cold mill building. Our production lines are 550 feet long, 55 feet tall, 15 feet wide, and uh, composed of about four, uh, consists of about 420,000 tons of steel each. The company also needed a strong labor force, and local leaders are anticipating a windfall of jobs. We are thrilled to welcome you and the nearly 2,000 jobs that this investment represents. Born out of need, we witnessed during the pandemic, United Safety Technologies' mission is to provide American-made products for American frontline workers, and they're already doing so when it comes to N95 respirators. We had to scour the entire world to procure and distribute tens of millions of masks and gloves and gowns and other PPE. Now with the help of a $96 million federal grant, this company is expected to help reduce the country's dependence on others for critical medical supplies. The question is, you know, how do we compete with foreign made, um, you know, factories that are using uh, slave labor, that are using unfair practices, that aren't really concerned about the environment. We're, we're committed to, to making it work. At Sparrows Point, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.